Hey, what's going on? Uh, Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. I'm gonna show you guys how to install an SSD and specifically we're gonna be installing this Kingston A400 240 gigabyte SSD. We have this old Windows 8 laptop right here. This thing is probably 10 years old and it's running extremely slow and partially and mainly due to just this old 2.5 mechanical hard drive and HDD. Uh, this thing is slowing this computer down. It takes 30 seconds to load. So installing a new SSD, uh, should help that out. Now, the install on this is going to be specific to this laptop, but in general, this is how you're going to do it. So just make sure you're taking off the right panels. I know for a fact that my SSD is under this panel or my hard drive location is under this panel. So we'll go ahead and just remove this one real quick. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Now, like I said, yours might be different, uh, but just make sure you're taking off the right panel. And if you guys can see this right here, this is where the hard drive was installed before. You can see that we have our little SATA connector right here. So we'll go ahead and open up the A400 from Kingston real quick. And I'll just go ahead and rip this open and I won't try to, you know, make it look pretty while opening it. And then obviously you'll have to install your operating system on it, um, which you can do so, you know, through various different methods. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we got this SSD out of the package. You can see you got Kingston branding, very lightweight. Um, no mechanically moving parts on this, so those mechanical parts aren't going to slow down over time. This is all uh, internal. There's no um, actual mechanical parts in this. So all you got to do um, is locate where your hard drive is going to be installed. Now this S or this old hard drive right here actually did have these little guys on them to kind of help it not wobble around on the inside while you're using it. So we're going to go ahead and actually just install that um, on this one too. And again, just to help it not move around so much whenever you actually have this inside of your computer or your laptop. Uh, now this isn't a, gonna be a direct replacement for me, it's seeming like, uh, but we'll go ahead and put it in there anyways. And then just like that, uh, just make sure that your ports are open. So we'll go ahead and just plug this in, just like so. We're gonna flip the SSD to make sure that it's gonna stay connected. And it might, it might give you a little bit of trouble just uh, line it up correctly and then you should be good. So this one's actually uh, being covered by that cover. So we'll go ahead and take that one out and just line it up and plug it in. And then we'll just slide it down in here just like the old hard drive was. And that's not gonna move around. And then you're simply just going to replace your panel. Uh, so for me, I just have to kind of slide it in like this, tighten it down just like this. And now you can install your operating system and uh, hopefully have a much faster computer.